This is KHQA Sports. We start in America's hometown tonight where the Hannibal Pirates were getting ready for a little tuning up before district start. The boys coming off a 2 nothing win the other night against Marshall, taking on battle, and this one looking to build some momentum. It was senior night, and this one cool shot before the game of the boys letting go some red balloons. All five seniors take their final walk as they would end their careers at home today. Hannibal all over battle early on in this one. Freshman, freshman I should say, Corey Allensworth going to take a rip at it. That one barely misses. Free kick from about midfield right here. Jack Richards sends it in. Trevor Hurtline gets his head on that, putting it into the mesh right there. Hannibal would take a 1-0 lead, and they did not look back after that. Jack Bauman going to get a nice opportunity right here. Gets inside the 18 and just rockets this one right off the pipe right there. That one would deflect out, but he would have another chance shortly after that one as Bauman's going to settle this one down and just kind of send a little cross at the net, but it gets through, goes through the keeper's legs, a little nutmeg exit rack right there, goes in. That makes it 2 to nothing. Hannibal has no problem as they get it done. 4 to nothing tonight. They have Canton tomorrow, then begin districts next Tuesday against Liberty from Wentzville. Canton at Q&D today. Raiders up 3 nothing at the half, coming out hot in the second as well. Jacob Becker on the attack. This one's just going to get turned away right there. They kept the pressure on after that, though. Dylan Peters working to get one in as well as the rebound's going to come out to him. That one's finally going to get covered up. A lot of traffic there in front of the net. And that was only the beginning, though. Raiders pressing all game long, as I mentioned. Becker cutting it on goal again. He's going to find Aubrey Reese, who had a big game. And this one, he gets his foot on that, tips it into the back of the net. That's his second goal of the game. Makes it 4 to nothing. Q and D. Mac Little would bury one shortly after that. Near post from him as he would be driving in on goal right here. He's going to launch this one. Boom, look at the fire on that one. That one goes in. 5 to nothing. Q&D goes on to roll 7 to 1. Aubrey Reese, hat trick in this game. He makes it three goals as I was just walking out of the game, but he does it nonetheless. Gets it done as the Raiders win 7-1. to one. They begin the playoffs on Wednesday. Illinois spikes action tonight. West Hancock at Southeastern. Dakota Linkman honored before the game for her fourth place finish at State. Very well deserved in the golf there. She can do it all, folks. The sophomore, you know her, Colby McClellan, getting involved early, laying down the block right there for her squad. They're all pumped up after that. Abby Lance laying down the hammer shortly after that one as well. Cross-court kill. That one can't be handled. Southeastern up 3-1 to one here. West Hancock in this one early on, though, thanks to Lexi Dooley. Look at her right there hosting her own block party as she gets that one down. More from her as Miss Dooley is dynamite. She's going to spike this one right into the woodwork right there. McClellan got a little mad after that, though. You don't want to do that. Casual kill from her right here as Southeastern would start to go on a roll from there. And obviously, we got to show you some Dakota Limkeman, number one on Sensational 7 this week as she's going to well, she holds out for Eagle. If you haven't checked that one out, go to KHQA.com. More from Linkman. She's going to place this one deep right here for the point. Looking like a young Molly Patrick right there. Molly Patrick's our producer in the back. She was a stud out there on the volleyball court back in the day. Well, not too far, about a year ago. But nonetheless, Southeastern going to go on and roll in this one in straight sets as they get it done over West Hancock. A few scores to pass along to you as well. West Prairie gets it done in straight sets tonight over Rushville. Also, Brown County in three games. They take down North Green. Mariah Marker, 12 kills in that one. And Hannibal, they get it done in straight sets in their first round of districts. They will take on Smith Cotton on Wednesday. 